Western skies I'm blue Western girl How I miss you Like two clouds In the sky We were just Drifting by Western girl Pure and white Made me feel Like a child Western girl, pure and wild, stop the world when she smiles. Sixteen miles from Las Vegas, brought the bed of my tickets to the cave. Gave a shade where sweet love was made. Western girl, pure and wild, made me feel like a child. Western girl, pure and wild, stopped the world when she smiled. And now I'm thinking about her every day From the moment I left, I wish I could stay Western skies I blue Western girl, how I miss you Like two clouds in the sky we were just drifting by Western girl, pure and wild. Made me feel like a child. Western girl, pure and wild. Stop the world when you smile. Western girl, pure and wild. Made me feel like a child Western girl Pure and wild Stop the world When she smiles You're back with Club 19 Presents. I'm Joe Mock, and with us here today is uh, Leo Downey, noted singer, guitarist, songwriter, and all sorts of good things. Leo, <laughs> I like that last tune you just played. That's an original, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's the title of that? That one's called Western Girl. Western Girl. Okay, do you perform a lot of originals when you're around town? Yeah, I perform about half originals and half covers. I okay. Like mix them up. And when it comes to like choosing the cover songs, you know, there's so many to choose from out there. What, what, what helps you decide which ones to play? Well, I think um, it's just over the years, I, it's, I slowly accumulate them. It takes me a long time, and I'll go through lots before I find the ones that feel right. right. So Elvis, Cat Stevens. Like some cl Jim crowd Pochi, pleasers. Yeah. If you're going to play yeah. covers, you want to play stuff that... It's stuff that everybody likes, it right. seems like, too. That's right. those kind of songs, you know. I don't know what makes a song like that, but... That's not bad, too, because if you consider that so many musicians in town end up having to play top 40 songs right. solely just to get out there and play and get a gig when you're playing in a band. But in your case, at least you, it seems like you're able to mix in some of your originals with uh, the, some of the covers. There's a lot more freedom, I think, playing solo. You, you really, you know, there's things that, are, that aren't as neat, and it's real fun to play with a band, too, you know. Right. But it, it, there's a lot of freedom in playing solo, and you can really kind of shape it the way you want and right. play what you want when you want, you know. Now, when it comes to original songs, I understand that you have some sort of recording that you've been working on, or is yeah. it out already? Or yeah. What's the story? Well, it'll be out in about a week. I've been okay. saying that for the past six months. <laughs> <laughs> People are just you know, going crazy, really getting mad at me because I can't get it finished. But it's uh, it's finally done, and uh, actually, I'm just getting the cover made for the tape now. Everything's done, just getting the cover for it, and it'll be sale for sale and where I play, and hopefully in some of the record stores around here and uh, anywhere I can sell it. It'll be like a cassette only release. Yeah, yeah, it was recorded live. Uh, Dave Fitzpatrick was the engineer on it, and we recorded it at the harbor. Uh, most of it's live, and we did some of the stuff in the studio. Um, we had a great crowd in the harbor that that night, and uh, 
and uh, it's got about 14 songs on it, all original except one Spanish. Tune. That sounds good. So those of you out there, make sure you look for that, a new release by Leo Downey. Um, Leo, one thing I wanted to talk about, I've done some performing a little bit in, in my life, both solo and with a band, and it seems like it takes a certain makeup to be an effective solo performer. Uh, as opposed to when you're with a band, not only do, can you be covered up by the, let's say, the audio sound, the sheer volume of working with other musicians. So if you make a mistake or something like that, you can, you know, it's basically blended in. But also, it's just the ability to fall back on, on the other musicians in your band. Now, when you're up there all alone, it, it seems to me, do you ever get scared sometimes? Do you ever get nervous that you can't connect with that audience? It's just you and them. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I think, you know, to tell you the truth, the hardest not the hardest thing, but the whole thing, the, the, the whole approach for me has been, it, it's a, it's a inner type thing. I mean, it's not like how fast you can play or, I mean, that kind of stuff seems to take care of itself. Right. And you keep working at it and you keep getting better. But what really, it's that feeling and that is the hardest thing. And um, I guess I'm just learning by doing it. And, uh, and it's not something I can really, I, I have all kinds of different feelings about how it is and I could sit around and talk about it and I right. do you know sometimes to myself or whatever but but uh, I guess it's just committing yourself a hundred percent and also and getting, getting up out there of the believing way of what yourself. you're doing yeah you got to believe what you're doing and that these people are going to want to hear what I have to offer. right right right, right. Uh, now when you have you worked with the band ever before just a little bit and, mm -hmm. and I think that it's you know I know it's a real art to play with a band just as much as an art to play by yourself uh, right. but and, and I haven't done that much. Mm -hmm. And in the future, that would be neat. But I think, I think not until I have somebody behind me or uh, I have some kind of a contract or something going where I can really... Or maybe someone who understands exactly how you want to work. At least now you call your own shots. Yeah, and I really enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> There's not too like many that. of us who call our own shots in our, in our businesses. And that has to kind be of part spoiled, of the appeal. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. It, it makes it you're free to go wherever you want to, you know, when you have a band, well then there's all these different guys and you have to, you know. Right. Now, and you're performing around town and, and in other places that you have performed, is there any special gig that stands out in your mind, you know, is there, was there a night when maybe it all came together when the feeling and the ability of yourself or you, you know, a night like that, any, anything you remember? Those nights happen, you know what, they happen more and more often. I remember like the first time it happened. The first time it ever happened, I think, was at 1129, a long time ago. And back in the old little room. Yeah, and I mean, right. I'm sure nobody else remembers, but I remember. And I, <laughs> I was remember. Like, wow, you know? <laughs> I was like, that was great. And, and, uh, but then they start to happen more and more often where, right. or, or for part of the night, you'll really get it. And now, at least usually for a little while in the night, I will get that feeling, and it's a kind of, kind of a euphoric feeling, you know, and, and I love it. it. When I'm playing, I'm loving it. Right. When I'm not playing and I'm thinking about having to go there and do this and that or maybe worrying about it. Butterflies. Or make, yeah, sometimes <laughs> those things still happen, you know. And, right. But the more I do it, the less it seems to bother me. Now, when you're out there performing, is there any device, let's say, or any specific song that you use to grab that audience? Now, me, I've, in just the brief moments that I've ever had performing by myself, whatever it is, you know, it's hard to get those people, especially in your situation where people are eating or drinking or whatever. Is there anything that you use to, to grab the audience or do you basically just let the music do the talking? Um, I think if, if there was one song that I used, it's Elvis Presley. That's, <laughs> everybody seems to just look at that, you know, and it's, and it's fun to do. Right. And I never thought I would do it, you know, but... Uh, is it one specific song? What song is it? Oh, one of my favorite ones is Heartbreak Hotel. Okay. And I do that every night, you know. 